Mina, let's start with you here. Yes. What should the game plan look like for Patrick Mahomes and company tonight? Yeah, I know I started by talking about Xavier Worthy and the deep ball, and we're going to see it at some point, right? You don't keep that Lamborghini parked in the garage, especially after last <laughs> season. There's such an appetite, I think, not just from Chiefs fans, who I alluded to, but Patrick Mahomes wants to throw that ball downfield. That said, football is about matchups, and this Ravens defense, as excellent as they were last year, they were very good against deep passes. They were excellent against the pass in general. And they did struggle at times to stop the run. Some of that is structural. This is a defense that plays in their sub packages a lot. Yeah. They play with a lot of light boxes. They are oriented around stopping the pass. But it's also an issue, I think, that could uh, rear its head early on with the losses of Patrick Queen, Jadavion Clowney, who's an excellent run defender. So I would not be surprised, and, and Dan and I talked about this last week, if the Chiefs come out in their heavy personnel groupings, as they love to do, put multiple tight ends on the field and actually hand the ball more off to Isaiah Pacheco because of the matchup. I think a big part of that, too, is they got a rookie starting at left tackle for Kansas City. Kingsley Suamataia. Yeah. Good job, Dan. Can't believe You've I greased that. that. <laughs> and so yeah, it's a little bit, they've, they've got to figure out what kind of player he is in real-life situations. And I think Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes and Matt Nagy, their offensive coordinator, how much are they going to help him? Do, do they have to screen a little bit to try to minimize some of this pass rush? Are they going to try to constantly chip? And so, you know, as much as those tackles struggled last year, at least they knew what they were. And I think they have to figure out early on in this football game what kind of player that left tackle is going to be for them. Because if he shows to be pretty darn good, then I agree with Mina in some elements of her, her – Thing that she's looking forward to taking some shots down the field and trying to vertically stretch this defense but I'm paying attention early on in this game how that left tackle looks there's a ton of pressure on his shoulders yeah I'm looking at how this four-man rush can get after the passer I know we're talking about Mina just mentioned Kansas City may be lining up and trying to run the football but the Baltimore Ravens one of the unsung things were they got after the passer and I know they added some blitzes with McDonald but the four-man rush is becoming a common theme for teams that have an opportunity to go far in the playoffs and have the potential to win Super Bowls now Owe, Numday Matabike now Antonio Pierce you talk about those guys up front you got big physical guys in the interior of this defensive line, but I want to see them without having to add Kyle Hamilton and come up with exotic things from Zach or if they can get after the passer with just a generic four man rush. Dan, you mentioned it. It's a new left tackle start in this game. And when I played in the NFL and we had new young rookies, we yeah. wanted to find out early mm. if they were either nervous or could they protect at all against the speed of the NFL. I'm interested to see this four man rush from the Ravens tonight. Yeah, Marcus, I'm also interested in seeing, you alluded to this, not just that four-man rush, but what does it look like under Zach Orr? Is he just hitting mm. copy-paste on Mike McDonald's defense? Are they capable sure. of that, by the way? So we, we talked about this defense so much last year, the use of simulated pressures up front to create uncertainty both in the minds of the quarterback and the offensive lines they were facing, right? You never know who's coming, who's dropping into coverage. Are they going to do that again? Yeah. Jadavion Clowney was excellent in that scheme. Everybody else is still consistent, so you can continue with it. But we're going to learn early on uh, if Zach Orr wants to make his imprint on the defense and change it up.